Good morning, it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England. Uh, today is the 1st of August and if you've been watching me from the beginning you should know what that is. It means it's Yorkshire Day. Happy Yorkshire Day everybody. Um, like I said last year, we're, we're, we're like our county, the little Yorkshire folk. And um, we do believe it's the best. We know it's the best. <laughs> No, seriously, um, it is a great place to live and um, um, we do like to celebrate Yorkshire Day. Uh, anyway, I've put, I'm going to try and put a couple of videos in. One's a jokey one, which is uh, the Yorkshire Acker. If I can't, I will link them below. Um, and the other one is a sort of professional version of our Yorkshire Anthem, which is on Ilkley Moor Bartat. Um, now, uh, I do think it's better if it's sung by folk like me that can't sing properly and you know it's, it's you know you get roused up and it's it's fantastic i did think that me and alex from my Annie corner should get together and do a duet uh but i don't know about her but i can't sing so it probably send you <laughs> you probably leave us in the in the dozens you know but yeah um it's it's a it's i do like a good sing along to your no come more about that uh, anyway, on to the business of crochet. Now, I have finished Cabin Girl. I have salvaged her. I'm happy with the result. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I have made changes, obviously, because I did not like the pattern, as you know. So, this is my finished Cabin Girl. So, these uh, new slippers are my own invention. Uh, I've done her a mug again, my own invention. Um, I uh, I've done her a scarf to try and steady her head a bit, which I think has actually worked. Uh, it's it's not as wobbly with the scarf on. Um, I'm 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 happy with her, but I'm not happy with Toft. Um, I, I don't rate them, but you know, I know a lot of people do and that's fine. That is fine. I've, I've no issues. We, we all have preferences and that's fine. Uh, so yeah, she's, but she's done and she can be gifted to my friend now. So um, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to go into what I've used. The, the wool and that is all well documented on the website. Um, she, I did say, trying to be kind, that the wool's good. I think there is better wool out there, to be honest, um, especially the last few days trying to finish it off. That is why it's taken me so long over the last few days, because while it's been warm and it is still warm, did have a bit of rain overnight, which has cooled it down a little bit. But uh, yeah, we it, it's and your hands are like warm and, and the wool is sticky. It's so sticky. I've never had that with West Yorks of Spinners or, you know, World of Wool. So I, d I just find that uh, it's a bit odd. I mean, the Rowan that I bought when we went on the trip to Black Sheet Wools, that feels an awful lot better than this tough yarn. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I, is it me that's just got the downer on it? Maybe it is, but it's been very sticky to work with while it's been warm and, and I haven't enjoyed it at all. It's been squeaky and sticky and horrible. Uh, but, yeah, so... Uh, obviously, I won't be recommending this pattern or probably Toft in general. For me, it goes down as a waste of time and a waste of money. Like I say, I am not telling you you not to buy it. It's enti it's entirely up to you. But personally, not for me. Um, in fact, if I ever go near a Toft again, a Toft kit again, uh, you have my permission to get me certified because... Uh, Obviously, something's very wrong in my mental health if I decide I want to do another one. Having said that, as I always say, never say never, <laughs> just in case I do decide to do one, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't I don't like how she writes the patterns. I said that the, when I first started working on it, uh, when I got the pattern, I uh, said anyone who um, has to put videos out to give tutorials, I'm not saying you don't have to do a tutorial, of course it always helps to do a tutorial, but this one relies so much on video tutorials. Anybody who's got a pattern this size and has got like four pages of further instructions, I don't think they're a good pattern writer. A lot of that could be in a good pattern. You know, so that is my opinion. 
now um the uh the, i did try the mules as they are on the pattern um i could see i tried three times with three different up sizes um again you see everybody said at the beginning if you trust the process you can't go wrong well not for me because like i say i trusted the process and used the three millimeter hook and i had um a, a top that was too tight i've got a mule that's too big <laughs> you know you work it out because i can't and and i am not i am not going to admit that this is my problem because i am a very good amigurumi maker as as you know i wasn't at one time but i am now and i will not ever think that this is my fault this this is it it is not one that you can trust the process i don't believe that um you know it I like I say, how can a three millimeter up make it too big in parts and too small in others? I don't get it. I know you change day by day, but I just don't get it. So I did the mule, like she said on the pattern. I mean, by the time I got to sewing this on, I didn't do it really nicely because I could see that it was going to be far too big. But when you look at that and look at the pattern, if you can see that, I have stitched on in exactly the same place. And this mule is far too big for this this doll, um, so that was a waste of waste of time doing that. Um, like I said, I'd already done three times. I didn't finish it off properly, by the way, because I knew it was going to be too big and it's like a binned item. But so I made these up. Now I'm going to thank my friend Cassandra at Craftably Ever After for this because when I was making swim time swim time Sammy, I thought when i was doing the feet on her pattern i thought oh that looks about the same size uh, to fit on my my doll so i tried the first uh, few rows on and it looked it looked just fine so i thought right now so i did start doing it with that pattern in mind um and i did it right up to i'm not going to can't tell you exactly what i did because it's a paper for pattern but i did it the same up to eight eight rows now that was then working out a bit too tight and not long enough at the back so because i want them to look like mules you see but i, I it still needs to come up the back slightly uh, so i took that eighth row out uh, i can't tell you what up size i use because i've tried so many i can't i think it was a 3.5 but anyway i did it as per uh, a, a pattern for the feet of swim time summer until row seven and then I changed. I did a row of D, uh, DCs and then I'm not going to tell you numbers or anything because, like I say, I don't want to give away a pattern. Uh, but And then I did a split of uh, half TCs, HTCs at the back coming round to single crochets at the front, some decreases and another uh, mix of uh, DCs and half uh, and and the HTCs, which of course is, is UK terms. And then on the next row, did some more HTCs, um, some more DCs and some more HTCs. And after that, I put on the uh, cream, which I did all the way around. And then to try and make it look fluffy at the front, I did uh, uh, four uh, DCs at the back, you know, from where you, you know, obviously you, you you know like you start your row then i did um into uh, uh, the next stitch i did uh, uh, two chains and then into the next one a uh, uh, dc and carried that out round all the way and it gives this fluffy edge i did try it with three chains but that was too big so yeah I, I, and i was happy with that at the end the back isn't brilliant but it's good enough and it's better than the one that Toff provided. So that's 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 my opinion anyway. Uh, so, yeah, she's done. And then for the scarf, I've just, I was good planning on using the red as well. But to be honest, I'm so over it now. I am so over this. So I've done, and plus as well this morning when I was finishing the scarf off, my hands were getting, you know, warmer and the yarn was sticky and I was struggling with every stitch because of that. 
so I only did uh, the two colours so I did one obviously the chain row I don't know how many I trained I just went as far as I thought it fit and then I did uh, a row of double crochets which again is UK terms changed to the steel colour and did a row of double crochets and then I changed back to the silver and I did a row of half uh, you know half trebles just to um you know I you know, because the first row having a, a chain and a DC uh, obviously gives it a little bit more depth. So I did the last row in HTCs. Again, UK terms, you know. So uh, what do you think? Do you think I've, I think I've salvaged it. But uh, anyway, like I say, please don't think you have to, you know, like follow my lead. Tough patterns are probably fine for the majority of people that use them. She does not write for me though, definitely not. And I can say, and it's not my inability to read the pattern because I read the pattern perfectly well. It's the fact that it does not come out the way she says it will. So the mug, I did, now this again is my totally my own way. So I did uh, uh, six double crochets into the uh, magic circle. Then did six increases to give me 12 double crochets, UK terms obviously. Then I did one double crochet one increase all the way around and then I started working up 18 DCs all the way the first row is into the back lump only to give it the shape of the mug then I went and I just did as many uh, rows as I needed I, what I did was I found the top of a, an old uh, bottle that won't fit into this this 18 stitch form uh, uh, Nick just shaved off the top part and then I just worked up so it goes slightly above that and then um, I did stuff inside that so just so that this didn't sink down too much the uh, coffee colour um, it, it's not flat at the top it should be flat but I you know like I say it's so over it now so I just used a little bit of happy cotton in a coffee coloured uh, look to put in a, a disc in the top which I just did six DCs into a magic circle uh, six increases and then I did a, a row of 12 round because 18 was coming out too big for it even though I did it in a smaller up size so I I just did that and I just just popped it in so like I say it's not perfect but it's uh, I'm sure this has come out better than her pattern would have done so that's that so that can sit with the doll because my friend is a, a coffee drinker she likes coffee so yeah I um uh, that that that's it i don't think i've got anything else i can say about it uh like i say probably a very poor review from me but i've not enjoyed it i have not enjoyed it i don't know why so many people like them but that like i say i do accept that people do uh but like i say for me waste of time waste of money i've got one full ball of cream left and i don't know why because uh, I've used as, as she said on the pattern um, and uh, so that'll be gifted when I next give away some yarn um, I do like using wool by the way uh, to make amigurumis I think that it's a fab thing but for me because I've got like friends who are vegan uh, they would not have a a wool toy and I totally respect that uh, also if you think about it like um, some people are allergic to wool so I, I have to bear in mind all the time that my the things I make could go to anybody and they may not approve of that and it involves too much writing on the uh, you know like a, a label to go on if it's going to go for a sale so I, I prefer to say um, you know like to whoever I gift them to, you know, charity, and I say they are safe for people, you know, there's no allergens in them, unless they've got a freaky allergen like cotton, which most people don't, do you know what I mean? But like, that people like that would always be cautious anyway. And, um, you know, like, uh, you know, I can say they're fine for vegans, you know, because everything in them is that, you know, artificial or, that, you know, uh, you know, cotton, which vegans now do seem to accept cotton, which is fine. So, yeah, I, I that's my opinion anyway. Uh, you, you can correct me if I'm wrong on any of that information. But, yeah, so that is Cabin Girl Doll done and dusted and I'm so glad for it.
so yeah I, I should end this now probably with the Yorkshire Anthem if I can put it in if I can't then you know like I said I'll, I'll do it before below um I hope you have a fabulous day uh take care of yourselves and in Yorkshire speak I'll stay there.